Um, yeah, I'm really excited to have um, all three of you ladies on the show with me, um, especially as women very familiar with the landscape of music and um, with your own personal experiences. And, you know, there's one thing to be a woman in the music industry in which there are very few. Um, in fact, I think there's only, you. are you guys familiar with the Annenberg study that the, well, I mean, Aluna, you are, because we did that panel about it. Yeah, that was last, last, no, that was two years ago though. Oh, it was. Yeah. I don't know what day it is, so it's like, well the same. Um, but um, I was wondering if Shauna and Keto, if you guys were familiar with the Annenberg study? I'm not familiar with it. So no. um, I, I believe it was by, like, it was done, it was executed by USC, but um, it's just a survey of women in music and basically all the statistics and numbers behind it. And it's pretty, pretty jarring to actually see the numbers. Um, out of all female musicians, or female artists, 21.7 of them, well, okay, across the board, only 21.7 artists right now are women. And of that actually, and this is supposed to be, this was something that was found to be more positive, 73% of the women artists are women of color. Um, overall, only 12.5% of songwriters are women, 43.3% of those women are women of color. And there are only 2% only of producers across the board are actually women. So across 400 songs, they found only 2% of them produced by women. So um, it, it's, you know, it's pretty dire when you look at it. It's the numbers aren't great, but I mean, I think pointing out and having this study um, shows the disparity and allows the industry to kind of um, use this awareness to change the kind of direction that they're going in. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. Like how, this is a really broad question I'll start with, but how do you guys feel as just women in the music industry? You guys can go in any order you want, but. I was just gonna say it can tend to feel very much like there's a huge ocean between each woman Right. Yeah, definitely. Like I'm, I'm excited to meet you for the first time, Toki. Like being producers, there's only a few, so you're aware of the other producers out there, and like you know, look up to and and like champion everyone else doing the same thing that you're doing because it is like when you get a win, you're like, oh my god, you had to do so many things to get that win. Like I feel like um, it's also really going to be really interesting talking about like the inequalities within our inequalities. Like I, I mostly have thought about the experience of being a woman in music as a whole, as us women in music. But then, you know, if you break that down and look at um, the extra hurdles that you have to go through being women of colour in music, in, within mm -hmm. that, like that's mm -hmm. something I've not looked at much. I've just thought about my our, our joint experience being women in music. It, I know the topic at the moment is um, how racism plays out in um, the music industry. But like Keto said, a lot of the time it feels like, because it's an intersection, a lot of the times it's really about being a woman in the music industry. But I think intersectional issues, like they're very complex and it's very hard to almost separate so I've had some um, male, um, other male producers and artists sort of reach out to me and ask me about my, if I, if I had that anything to say to them. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't, it's really, really hard to untangle. And, and so much of it is just like sheer hard work because it's such a competitive industry. Like what, how do you unravel all of that? Yeah. It's complex. It's it's super complex, I think. It's hard to sort of um, like break your experience down or summarise your experience into one sentence. Like it's sometimes I'm like, oh, I feel like I, people are, you know, especially recently, so much more ready to give opportunities to women in music because they're becoming more aware of like the inequalities. And, and so I'm, I sort of 
start feeling like empowered by that and then another something else happens and then I do a track for someone and realize that the guy that I co-produced it with got paid way more than me and I'm like oh fuck okay it's still like you know more work to be done or not that that's always uh you know something because of gen our gender but I think um that does happen a lot and yeah I I agree with both of you guys it's it's hard to well, let's put about this like there was a suffrage movement so uh, between the disparity disparity but just between men and women that's already like level one and then the other ways that create your identity like your gender your sexual orientation things like this um you know these are things that we have to tackle like sequentially because you know first i think women were allowed to vote then i think it was like black men got to vote then like you know everyone got to vote and these issues with like land like uh, property in America and things like that too. Men get it first and then women later. 